Muffet McGraw may have stepped down from coaching Notre Dame basketball, but she seems to be just as busy as ever. And one thing that is on her calendar is a statue dedication right outside the place she called home for 33 seasons. And Muffet McGraw joins me now this morning. Good to see you. Oh, that made me emotional. The place I called home. It's so true, though. I got to feel is. like I live there. You, you did. <laughs> you did. And so many of us knew nothing but the greatness that was Notre Dame women's basketball still is. And it's because of what you built there. You know, the fans really made it. They, they are such a big part of everything we've done to see that crowd grow. Remember in the beginning, you could sit wherever you wanted. There were no tickets, come in for free. And now it's a, kind of a coveted ticket. Oh, coveted ticket, you <laughs> bet. And, it, and it's because of the history. You've got this dedication coming up. Mark your calendars, folks. She wants everybody there. The 17th, it's a Sunday. This is happening right before the noon tip off with Purdue, right? Yeah, it's gonna be a big game. Oh, that is going to be a big game. And it's not lost on me. Your first national title <laughs> was against Purdue, exactly. defeating Purdue. Ruth Riley's free throws, sinking them. You had so much fun that day. This is going to bring back so many great yeah. memories. But tell me about the statue. Did you get to approve this? I, I, mean, had, did, I did you, not. <laughs> did you pose for the statue? Tell me about it. Well, first of all, we have a female who did the sculpture. I Anne love Hirsch. that. I love that, too. Everybody's like, is it the same one as football? No, this is going to be totally different. So she's from Boston, and uh, we, we really had a great connection. But she came out. She took a bunch of pictures. She's looked at a lot of pictures. But I haven't seen it yet. So I'm going to be surprised at the unveiling as well. Okay. And a lot of people want to know, is that you crouching I'm ready not. to attack? <laughs> or do you have the finger up in the air? Can you give us any tip about what we're going to see with the statue? I think it's probably going to be one of those. Really? Oh, that look, that look <laughs> that Muffet McGraw gave her team every single time. Well, let's talk about the history. We're talking about two national titles. And I know we have some video here of some incredible moments. Do you have any moments that stick out in your mind? Honestly, my favorite moment in my entire career is when we won in 2001. And and then we came back, we drove up Notre Dame Avenue about two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And there was like 3,000 people out there oh. ready to greet us. And that's before social media. I'm not oh, how, right. sure how they got the word out. But that was, to me, the most emotional moment. I'll tell you how we got the word out. So many of us were up all night. <laughs> I stayed up and watched the game and then was late to the morning show. My one and only time late to the morning show. But boy, I made it. I made it. Sharing some pictures. We've had a long time friendship. But also, I mean, fandom. That's me at your 900th game. <laughs> when, it, it, what a career. Muffet, when you look back on it all, what do you say? You know, it's funny because when you're in it, you, you don't appreciate it. And oh, you so always, true. almost always end your season on a loss, so you're never really celebrating the season. And honestly, one of the regrets I have is that we didn't celebrate enough. I didn't celebrate with the team enough. You know, we'd win the ACC, and I'd be like, yeah, come out and get your rings. They're going to be sitting in the <laughs> secretary's office. Oh. You know, I, and looking back now, I think we could, we could have enjoyed the journey a little yeah. bit more. Well, I want to talk about your book, Expect More. It came out during the pandemic, and I think a lot of people were probably like, she has a book. Uh, it came out in 2021 after you announced your departure from coaching. Mm -hmm. She's still doing a ton of stuff. You, you still teach a class at Notre Dame. And, and what I think is so powerful about this book, I do love it. You can read it. It's quick. It's like a guide book to leadership and women in leadership. Tell me about that. Well, so important. I think I called it Expect More because women don't. We never expect more, right? We always just take what we get, we make it work, we, we figure it out on our own, we never ask for help. We try to be nice. We are very nice. And that's one <laughs> thing women have to stop worrying about is what people are gonna think. Right. And uh, that's one thing I think I, I got pretty good at, not yeah. worrying about what people think. You're very good at that, <laughs> and I appreciate you for that. There's going to be more book signings for Expect More uh, after the statue dedication, so there's still quite a bit on your calendar. Thank you, friend, for stopping by the morning show, and I owe you breakfast, I think. You do. It, it's my turn? It's your turn. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you again, and congratulations on Thanks. that statue. No matter what it turns out to be, we're all going to be taking pictures with it and celebrating. Nice. It's so great for women, isn't it? It really I'm is. I'm excited about that. Very good.